Hello, you guys. My name is Depressed Optimist, and welcome back to Two Cents. I know it's been a hot minute, but isn't it worth it? Because I'm recording this with my good mic, and like, I know you love my voice in this good mic. Like, honestly, I don't know if you love my voice. You probably hate it, but. I know y'all love my voice in this mic because it's way more better than my phone mic. And so, at least I'm recording it here. And we're gonna talk about my favorite game ever, Undertale. Ha, yay! Um, but we're not gonna talk about the game, honey. We're gonna talk about the best character, the most attractive character in Undertale, Sans. Did you sense the sarcasm? Because Sans is not the most attractive character. There are like a lot of characters we could argue for most attractive character, such as Papyrus, Metaton, and Asgore. Oh my god, Asgore is so freaking cute. But we're not here to talk about that. The other day at work, I got bored, like I always do. And I made this list on my freaking sketchbook. You know the thing I'm supposed to be drawing in? Um, no, we're writing in it because I'm literally that bored. Um, and I made a list of why people like Sans. Because in 2015, when Undertale came out, for some reason, everyone got attracted to Sans instead of literally any other character. And Sans isn't that attractive because he's like short and like fat for a skeleton which makes absolutely no sense but and i'm not saying people who are fat can't be attractive but this nigga is lazy he doesn't have a job like and like he he's like a bum like those are all features that aren't attractive but for some reason everybody wanted to hop on this nigga's dick and i as the best person to talk about this was like um yo what's up with that and i got bored and so i made like a list of reasons why on my sketchbook which is to the side so if i keep like if my voice keeps like moving this way it's because i'm looking this way to look at my sketchbook so yeah we're gonna just go through the reasons i put down because that's this is my show i can do what i want um so yeah let's just start with reason number one he's scary he's scary and he can beat your ass those are like two it's the same reason basically so like when you first meet sans right he's just entering snowden basically you're straight out of the ruins you're entering snowden sans sneaks up on you you don't know who it is at first you assume it's a threat because why wouldn't you like literally a flower is trying to kill you earlier everyone's a threat in this world but sneaks up in, on you and like oh yeah it's a little joke hell no it's not a joke i could feel the malicious intent coming off that nigga and guess what throughout any route you go through he is low-key threatening you he's so mean like i don't know why people like him because he's like honestly so me like in comparison to his brother who by the way very nice man sans is a dickhead so i don't understand why people like him but we're going through that you get me because of the fact that he's scary even if you don't play the genocide run is one of the key factors of why people like him because when you see someone when someone's bigger than you mo this is this is actual psychology. So, like, you equate, like, anything that arouses your brain, like, while you're with someone to, like, romance. You get me? There's, like, this study where, like, male participants, like, who are straight, presumably, freaking, like, were greeted by this woman on, like, a bridge that was hella high up. And they would see her as more attractive if they were on that bridge rather than somewhere else that's, like, much more safer. I kind of forgot. Um, I took Psych 1001. Oh, my God. I'm such a psychologist, you guys. Um, but, yeah. So, because of this, your, your fear 
for sans, or let's say our fear sans. Let's be inclusive here. Let's not be like, oh, I'm better than all of you. But our fear for sans would make us see him as like more attractive. For some reason, our brains are like thirsty for anything that makes us excited. And so, because of this, we like him because he he can kill us and as we all know everyone wants to die (laughs) and so we find that very attractive like i don't find it attractive fuck the genocide route i still haven't beat this nigga but whatever i don't care um that goes into point number two he's mysterious like what the hell do we even like i still don't know where sans and papyrus came from presumably they came from gaster but why is sans so much more like mysterious than papyrus papyrus doesn't really notice this is like a game while sans does and he like freaking can teleport and like he knows all about the humans and like he he knows things that he doesn't like like he knows things that you shouldn't know like he he's like all seeing like sans might be god game theory (laughs) but yeah like he's mysterious and because he's mysterious we want to know more about him you know like he's kind of attractive like oh what is he doing like tonight like what is sans doing tonight like shit anywho yeah like when you don't know, like, you you don't know what he's doing, so you want to know more, which gets you invested in him, which makes you attracted to him. Duh! Like, this ain't even psychology, bro. This is, like, simple-ass shit. Um, the next point is that he always smiles, and we love smiling. We love people when they smile, but no. No, it's different for this one. He's always smiling he never doesn't smile which makes him kind of scary but like at the same time it makes him like 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 it kind of goes with the mysterious point like he holds in his feelings like even in the genocide route which i did not finish but i watched on youtube like when you kill this dude he still smiles he's still smiling through the pain and when papyrus dies he's still smiling and threatening to kill you like it's so sweet like i can't like and because we see that he's like always smiling we're kind of attracted to him because that's like odd like it's kind of odd like and we kind of like things that are odd like in every single fandom there's always that nigga who smiles way too much and we, we we stay liking we stay liking weird dudes like let me see who is the most like in every single fandom there's always going to be the most popular character and all of them they're only attractive because of like one weird ass reason sans sans always smiles so that's his weird ass reason like he ain't that one anime character who closes his eyes like never opens it and like always smiles no he opens his eye eye blue um but yeah like that goes into my next point look at me this is low-key kind of a script i'm actually staying on point for what's on this channel you guys yes but my next point look at me staying on track blue it just says blue (laughs) his his blue eye is one of the few colors that show up on the fighting sprites like one of the few colors other than asgore's like trident thing like his eye like his singular eye is one of the few colors that show up on the sprites and his theme is blue he's wearing that blue coat thing his eye is blue he can turn the bones he can turn your heart blue you get me like 
just like papyrus, but like papyrus is red, so like it's complementary colors. You see, I don't, I'm not an artist, I don't know, but either way, because he's blue, blue is kind of an attractive color. You're kind of attracted to blue, it calms you down, but like he, he's trying to kill you, and like that kind of makes you like whoa like blue is supposed to be a calm color what are you doing sand stop it <laughs> but yeah like blue it makes so much sense right like i you totally understand what i'm saying blue um he's funny he's like sarcastic in like his humor and because everybody who played fucking undertale let's be real Let's be real, you guys are fucking kids, okay? I was a kid too. How old was I? 2015, I was... 2015, I was either 14 or 15. So yeah, I was a kid too. And even though I wasn't attracted to the Sands, I was attracted to Papyrus and Ascor. Oh my god, Ascor. <laughs> but yeah, like, he's funny. And sarcasm is very, like like in like for millennials and gen xers zers i don't know what the hell it's called but yeah sarcasm we love sarcasm and he's very sarcastic and like he because he's sarcastic we fucking like him like it's very simple i don't need to explain this point um he's chill and lazy unlike his brother you know papyrus is such a sweet heart <laughs> He works so hard to get what he wants, but Sans is a lazy bitch, and let's be real, I'm lazy too. I'm- I fuck with Sans because of that. Like, I'm lazy. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to have a job. I have to have a job, though. Like, because I'm broke. But, yeah, no, he's lazy and he's chill. He doesn't really care about you. He's one of those few characters who don't care that you're human. But like, no, never mind. Sans does care that you're human. Like, he, but he only cares if you kill. Like, he he doesn't want you to fuck. He doesn't want you to hurt Papyrus, basically. But like, he he wouldn't care about that if you weren't human. I don't know. He's chill. He's chill. Let's let's say he's chill. Okay. Like, I don't I don't want to confuse myself because if I keep talking, I will. So yeah, he's chill. And like, he's one of the only few characters that are chill in the game because he knows everything. And so, yeah. And my last point, he cares about his family. Oh my god. He cares so much about Papyrus. It's almost like touching. Like, not like that much about Papyrus. Like, not Rule 34. Like, that. No. Not no. I see you. Inc incest is not Wincest. Do not. No. Stop. But. He cares so much about Papyrus, and like he he'll fucking kill you if you kill his brother. It's well, no, he won't kill you if you kill his brother because like murder isn't good. But like honestly, if Undertale was rewritten, I feel like if you killed Papyrus, Sans should still fight you, just not as like violent as the genocide run was like. Cause like you know how undying undying the undying only shows up in genocide so far like in um the neutral run she's not that powerful unless you freaking kill everyone but yeah i feel like stan should have fought you if you killed papyrus regardless because he like he literally cares way too much about him to not like it makes no sense like i know he's supposed to be chill but like i'd even kill for my siblings so that's saying something. But yeah, no, he really cares about his family. And, like, he doesn't want anything to care about. Like, he doesn't want anything to happen to Papyrus. And, like, he always protects him. And, like, oh, it's so freaking sweet to just see that. Like, he actually has emotions. That's the only emotion that he has. And that's the only reason I'm attracted to him. Because, like, you know, being a nice person really matters. And, like, all the following reasons. That's, that's why I don't like him. Like... <sighs> I like Asgore. Asgore's cute, in my opinion. I'm not a furry. He's not cute. I love buff dudes, bro. Buffed girls and buff dudes. 
I am so ooh ooh. Asgore is big, bro. He's big, and you know that's why I like Jasper. Jasper, is, oh Jasper, <laughs> and Zarya. Yeah, buff buff dudes, buff girls. That's the cream of the crop. If you like buff girls, like this video. <laughs> if you like buff dudes, like this video. If you like Sans, like this video because I, I was talking about him for way too long for you not to like this video, okay? Like this video if you like the video and if you want more of me just talking and not having a point, then, you know, subscribe because that's all I do on this channel, honestly. I don't know why people are subscribed to me still. Like, yeah. Thank you for staying subscribed if you're if you're subscribed right now. Like honestly, I don't even know why I make videos. <laughs> Goodbye.